Okay, for this programming activity, you should have a robot that looks like the shopping cart project from our blue box, except that there's been two additional sensors added. You'll have external IR sensors facing forward, one on the left and one on the right in the front of the robot, and the left one will have plugged in to port A number three. The right sensor, IR sensor, will have plugged into port A number four. And our goal here is to have a robot that can follow your hand or another object as it moves using the external sensors to determine what is in front of it. All right, so let's begin. First off, we're going to have an if statement related to the front middle sensor on the main board. So click if once, click it again here, and right click to edit. We're working with the front sensor, and if we count from left to right, we start with zero as the left corner sensor, one would be the middle sensor, and then two is the right corner sensor. So we're going to be working with number one. Select number one, and select less than, and our value to use is 750, and confirm. So what this is relating to is if something comes close enough to the middle sensor that it's detected, we want our robot to stop. Okay? So we'll put a DC motor block in here, and that's going to say stop. Okay? And then we have an else if, after our if statement, this is going to relate to our left sensor. So we select the front sensor tab, but we're working with port A number three. So select number three. This is our left IR sensor. It should be plugged into port A number three. Again, we'll do less than 750. But the range for these sensors, because they're larger, is a larger range than the range for our sensors on the main board. So we should have a little bit more room to be detected by the robot here. So we're going to check to see if something is close to the left-hand side of the robot. And if so, we want the robot to turn to the left. So select a DC motor block, put it inside the else if, right-click, and to turn left, we need motor 1 to be backwards and motor 2 to be forwards. I'm going to change the speeds to half speed, speed 5, and confirm. Choose front sensor port A tab, and here we're doing port A number four. This is the right hand side of our robot, the sensor pointing forward on the right corner. Again, left, I'm sorry, less than 750. Confirm. And this else if we want to have run a DC motor block that turns the robot to the right. So motor 1 forward, motor 2 backward, and again, speed 5. Okay. And confirm. Okay. Now we'll put a while loop around all of it by clicking while and clicking on the very first pink block here. Then click again, just regular click, not right click left click on the while block and you can say yes I want to include everything inside the while loop and you'll see that all of our if and else if blocks go inside the while loop and we don't have anything that makes the robot go forward so we should probably put that in front of all of our other statements here all right so if there's nothing in front of the robot we want it to go forward so we'll put a DC block at the very beginning of all of our if statements, so click again on the if statement, and forward, speed 5. So the robot will always have its motors running forward unless we have an if, else if, or else if condition that is met, which will change the motors in some way, either stopping them or turning them to the left or the right. So try this code on your robot and see how it works.
So the one thing we need to add is the code that tells the robot to move forward if there's nothing in front of it. One more else, actually our only else block, will go at the end of our if, else if, else if chain. So click on the last block here, the last block of your while loop to go in front of it. And inside of our else statement, so if none of the sensors are detecting anything, we want the robot to just go forward. Inside the else statement, click DC once. Click again inside the else statement. Right click to edit and change this to forward. Motor one and motor two, speed five for both. Confirm. All right, compile and try that out on your robot.